Welcome to the module, Mental Health, Trauma, and the Brain. The outcomes for this module are Advocate for Policies and Practices, which address student and staff mental and physical health and trauma. Address individual and institutional biases through tiered interventions, supports, and programming for underserved populations. The important questions that guide our learning are, what are the effects of trauma on classroom relationships and learning? How do classroom supports help children manage their behavior? How do schools benefit from mental health community agencies? Mental health problems are actually very common. In 2014, about one in five American adults experienced a mental health issue. One in 10 young people experienced a period of major depression. One in 25 Americans lived with a serious mental health illness, such as schizophrenia, bipolar disorder, or major depression. Suicide is the 10th leading cause of death in the United States. It accounts for the loss of more than 41,000 American lives each year more than double the number of lives lost to homicide. Mental health includes our emotional, psychological, and social well-being. It affects how we think, feel, and act. It also helps determine how we handle stress, relate to others, and make choices. Mental health is important at every stage of life, from childhood and adolescence through adulthood. Many factors contribute to mental health problems, including biological factors, such as genes or brain chemistry, life experiences, such as trauma or abuse, family history of mental health problems. One out of every four children attending school has been exposed to a traumatic event that can affect learning and or behavior. Trauma can impact school performance through lower GPA, higher rate of school absences, increased dropout, more suspensions and expulsions, decreased reading ability. Trauma can impair learning. Even single exposure to traumatic events may cause jumpiness, intrusive thoughts, interrupted sleep, and nightmares. Anger and moodiness and or social withdrawal, any of which can interfere with concentration and memory. Chronic exposure to traumatic events, especially during a child's early years, can adversely affect attention, memory, and cognition, reduce a child's ability to focus, organize, and process information interfere with effective problem solving and or planning, result in overwhelming feelings of frustration and anxiety. Adverse childhood experiences or ACEs are potentially traumatic events that occur in childhood. Examples include experiencing violence, abuse or neglect, witnessing violence in the home, having a family member attempt or die by suicide. Also included are aspects of a child's environment that can undermine their sense of safety, stability, and bonding, such as growing up in a household with substance misuse, mental health problems, or instability due to parental separation or incarceration of a parent, sibling, or other member of the household. Adverse childhood experiences have been linked to risky health behaviors, chronic health conditions, low life potential, early death. As the number of ACEs increases, so does the risk for these outcomes. Trauma-sensitive schools are summarized by safe and caring school climates, where students achieve academic and social competence. Educational policies include components of social emotional learning and positive behavior supports. From bus drivers 
to administrators. All stakeholders of the school community work together as a team in trauma-informed school practices. Effective trauma-informed school practices that guide interactions with students include empowerment, avoiding struggles, maintaining respectful and consistent discipline, unconditional positive regard, helping students build trust and form relationships, maintaining high expectations, maintaining consistent expectations, limits, and routines checking assumptions, asking questions instead of making assumptions, being a relationship coach, assisting students in developing social skills, providing guided opportunities, providing peer tutoring with opportunities to practice academic and social skills. As school leaders, it's important to understand students who have experienced trauma may distrust school authority figures because adults have failed to keep them safe. They may view rules and consequences as punishment, thus increasing the potential for re-traumatization while increasing the likelihood that these children will be repeatedly subject to school discipline and exclusionary practices.